Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This time I actually have a little bit of time to narrate as we proceed along with the craft building. So we're going to go ahead and revisit the Apollo program from NASA. And that is just looking so nice. Some of you said that I should use the steel fairing to cover the entire capsule. The problem is, is that that would cover up all these cool little details. It would cover up the windows, it would cover up the RCS ports, the door, everything, and it wouldn't look good anymore. It would just look like a solid steel capsule. Sweet. Okay, so I can actually use these for the nose of the command module. Alright, so I can see that the little attachment point for the docking port is a, it's a, it's a little different than what I'm trying to accomplish here. But it's somewhat sort of the same thing. I'm trying my best to replicate not only the looks of the Apollo rocket, but also the functionality of it. I had the ring that separated and went away, and then this part right here, the neck, which I'm going to replace with the fairing, was actually hollow. It didn't have fuel in it because it stored the uh, engine that was inside of it. And I think there's even a really cool video of uh, this stage flying away from the Apollo, and the entire innards of that uh, part right there is completely hollow. So obviously. There's no fuel tank inside that part. So KSP sort of, you know, forgot about that just a little bit. Oh, you know what? I need flags. I need to do some more flag stuff. You know, someone said that I could go into, um, um, someone said I could go into Alt F12 and uh, reload everything. You know, I don't have to exit out of the game and uh, put in, put in um, the flags, pictures and stuff that I could just do it inside the file and then go to F12 and debug tool and click reload something. I have looked everywhere for that button that they say exists and I cannot find it. So if anyone knows how to do that without having to exit out of the game in order to uh, reload new flags that I put into the file, please let me know and give me a walkthrough. That'd be so wonderful. Thank you in advance. Thank you. I don't know if it actually exists, but it's worth a shot.
Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful right there. That looks just like the picture. Hot dog. So far, so far at TWR of 1.14. <laughs> it's not going to be as easy as putting a fairing on here and just slapping it on there and calling it a day. Because the mouth of this thing actually had hinges that opened up in four directions. And there was a little cavity right here. So when the actual stage happened, the lunar wasn't completely exposed, only the little top of it was. The rest of the body was nestled in this little cavity. Hmm. Well, everyone, I am so sorry. I am completely out of time. I'm going to have to work on this some other time. But it's looking beautiful. And it's it, we're already done with the command module and the lander. And the rocket is the last thing. And oh my goodness, if we can figure out how to how to get past this little hurdle. But uh, if I can if I can figure it out, then I can figure it out. If not, we're just going to have to uh, I'm just I'm just going to have to bite my tongue on that one. So all right, well, look forward to it. We're almost done. This is going to be great when it's all completed. And uh, love you all. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.